Okay, so um, we're just going to go into one of the chats with our processing team here. This customer complained, said he didn't see any changes. We get that sometimes, but look at that, 14 deleted. The guy didn't, um, he didn't, uh, he didn't update his credit report, meaning he didn't subscribe to credit monitoring, then we had to pay for it again, and then we got all of this stuff finally updated in the system. So you can see these things that were deleted, right? Citibank deleted, CarMax was an inquiry deleted, inquiry, see all these inquiries deleted, 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 okay? Ally Financial, another inquiry, um, factual day, another inquiry, another inquiry. See, there's just nothing but inquiries removed. So um, this was a 30-day late payment. Okay, we got it deleted. Um, what was this? This was a, another late payment deleted. And uh, this was something else deleted. I'm not sure, but... Oh, here it's, it's a, it's a uh, charge-off account. Okay? So, guys, let me be frank. Okay, so... Um, Inquiries, if you have an open account, like if you applied for a credit card and, um, you know, say you're in the credit card applying process, like you just want to like max out your credit card. Um, I mean, get as many credit cards as you want and just increase your credit card limits as you want. Well, in order to do that, you'll have to continually, um, you, you must constantly be applying for credit every three to six months. And in doing so, you're going to rack up inquiries. So um, a roadblock um, may be is like, hey, I'm kind of stuck because I have too many inquiries. I can't get them removed without compromising the account. Well, actually, that's wrong because a lot of you folks out there don't know how to um, repair credit the right way. You, you, you know, you, so too many people are used to just removing and disputing accounts that don't need to be removed or compromised like you'll remove the whole positive account um, in order to get an inquiry off we're able to get inquiries off without compromising the um, account if it's being opened okay um, we utilize what's called the equal credit opportunity act the fair credit Re uh, reporting act okay and the fair and accurate transaction act in order to do that and it's been effective as you saw some of those accounts um, on that person's file Carmela's file um, they were you know they were re removed so let me show you some other um, you know updates oh right here James wow this okay deleted everything okay so some some customers are they just don't know how to look at their reports and you can see 10 items deleted his score is 729 we got his score up to 729 and charge off account was deleted okay Capital One deleted. American Express charge off account deleted. Synchronies credit card charge off account deleted. Navy Federal Credit Union deleted. And then that's pretty much it. So we're just, I'm just showing you some files. Okay. Let's look at uh, another file here, Sophia. This is a good one. Seven items deleted. So as you can see, we're pretty good at repairing credit. Synchrony, Capital One Bank deleted, as you can see, deleted. 
Mm, community bank deleted. So we're just getting things deleted. I'm literally going in the my chat with my employee and showing you what we have done. William, let's check out William. I haven't even looked at this. Now you're going to freak out because I'm looking at 42 negative accounts deleted. I've actually removed, I think the highest amount of negative accounts I removed off a of file was close to 400. There's a YouTube video you can scroll down and you could check that out. Um, 42 negative items deleted. The score jumped up 117 points. So this this is the uh, the stuff I, I get done for my clients. As you can see, this customer is not done. They they've only been a customer of mine, you know, for mm, I think a month, a month, and we got 42 deleted. That's pretty good, and the score jumped up 117 points. What if we did that for you? Charge off negative account. What did we delete? Mm. We have bank finger hut deleted, Capital One deleted, Synchrony Bank deleted, Capital One deleted, Capital One, Capital One, Capital One, I'm getting that deleted. 30 days late deleted, late payments deleted from Discover, uh, Barclays Bank, charge off account, see, deleted. Bank of America deleted, Capital One deleted. Capital One deleted, right? Synchrony deleted. Webbank Gettington, that's a strange one. Deleted. Acceptance Now deleted. I think that's a installment loan, personal loan type thing. Acceptance Now deleted. It's like a payday loan. Don't you guys hate those payday loans? <laughs> you know, you can't pay off. That sucks. Finger Hunt again deleted. GM Financial Leasing. This is a foreclosure. Okay, are you looking at this? GM Financial Leasing. Um, well, actually, to be honest with you, I don't know if that's a foreclosure or, I mean, it's not a foreclosure. <laughs> it could be a repossession. Um, is it possible that the car got repossessed within the lease? The lease agreement had to be canceled that might be what that is because it's not gm financial automotive financial. it's gm financial leasing which is could be different either way this is definitely a repossession of some sort either a repossession of uh, of a financing paper contract that you sign a lease that you signed right um same thing could happen when you lease an apartment if you break the lease you could be in collection status for the amount of the uh, lease itself depending upon other things bank of america deleted um macy's deleted you know all see just deleted stuff guys so there you have it i showed you just some random stuff i have more but um you know we can re remove inquiries any of the sort and that's just you know some updates for some clients some um, I just want to be as transparent as possible to show you guys what we're able to do. And this is not even all the stuff. Um, there is a video that I owe you guys. I was going to basically, uh, the video before this, I discussed five major key laws that we use every day here to repair credit. Now, to be more specific and to paint a vivid picture of how exactly we do it, what I promised to give you guys before the video ended, I think... Um, my phone died or something and then the video ended so if you watch that video just scroll down go back to my video section you will notice that it cut off when i was talking about um like the third or fourth law which should have been tilla truth and lending act the one before that would have been the fair credit billing act or fair accurate transaction act which are very important but they're easy to understand because they're not as big and extensive as the fair credit reporting act um, or TILA for, per se, or RESPA, which is another one that we use pertaining to foreclosures, mortgage accounts, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I do owe you that video. I'm going to do it. Um, and I did do it. I made, 
I did make a video, but I realized that my camera uh, on my iPhone that I'm filming from right now shut off and then I was talking for 20 minutes. So we lost 20 minutes of information and I just was so exhausted. So um, I'm working, I'm doing a bunch of things. I have other businesses here too. So like I'm trying my best to at least post one video a day for you guys. So um, hopefully tomorrow I will produce and release that video. The video would recap back up on the five um, things that will remove anything off your credit report, but volume two, version two. And uh, hopefully you guys check that out. Um, I'm going to screen share my computer and show you line by line on how we identify what laws have been violated and then how we plug them in to the credit bureaus in the dispute process, which I'll you know touch up on a little bit. And then that will give you a good idea of like how to do it if you wanna do it yourself or if you're just watching this video to instill confidence that we can do what we show what I just showed you what I on this phone um, so yeah stay tuned for that like comment if you have any questions um, and don't leave a comment about my some guy the other day is like you have an F rating on the BBB but go everyone you can go to my BBB and no one really cares about BBB if you go to the BBB we have a four star rating out of five and all the other reviews are fake. The the bad reviews are like total fake. You'll know they're fake because they don't even have any good information as far as uh, an actual experience of the customer. We're really good with our customer service. We don't really um, uh, deal with you know negative Nancys that just you know expect expect a million dollar job for the price of a haircut type deal. So uh, I roast those guys too, but. Um, yeah, don't come on this channel talking about that because no one cares about the rating. They only care about what the reviews. And if you go to the BBB, you're going to see there's a ton of good reviews, but the rating is what it is, right? And um, BBB is, has never been and never will be a method or a, um, a, a way on how we um, advertise or we, we just don't work with them. We don't pay them any money, by the way. That's another reason. Let me tell you the real reason um, why the uh, rating is that high because a long time ago when we started Pinnacle, uh, a long time ago, years ago, um, we had a person that created those accounts. Well, guess what? They changed the password, so we don't have access to them. Now, I, if I want to, I probably could contact them and get the password. And, and why is this important? It's important because the reason why there's an F rating, because uh, there were people that had a complaint against us. I think there was one complaint, right? Um, out of the tens of thousands of customers we have helped. I think there was one complaint that we didn't answer and when that happens, when you don't respond to a complaint with the BBB, BBB is basically a site where Karens, you know what, what a Karen is. It's a site where a Karen goes and just wants to badmouth everyone because they don't got nothing going on for them except to belittle people and try to manipulate and control the situation and businesses that people have because they don't have anything going on for them. If that's you in the comment section, Mr. Um, laughing out loud or whatever you're Thing was okay then you can go carry on and like carry on with your miserable life um, this is a channel where we empower people with education on how to repair credit and how I make money right some of you guys want to hire me pay me fifteen hundred five thousand ten thousand be my guest I'm here I will make sure that it's worth your while um, or if you want to do the fast track elite program which is you know uh, it's still, it's still a great program, but it's the price is what it is because I made that program for you guys that, to get better results than Lexington Law and still have the benefits of getting, you know, the best service, but you don't have to pay the hefty fee of working with me directly. So you go through that automated process. You don't have to work with me, but you'll still get awesome results. That's pretty much the difference. And statistically speaking, yeah, you will get... Um, 
you will get uh, results that are not, not as good as working with me personally, but it's still great, still better than Lexington Law, right? If you have any questions as far as the specific programs and the differences, you can go to my website for that, okay? Don't call me because the website will answer all your questions. And if you really want more information or if you really want to see specific things that we could do to repair credit, then you come to the YouTube channel. That's what the YouTube channel is for. And I'll show you um, case study after case study after case study. And maybe I'll explain how I did it and what law I used, such as the next video. So back again, um, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to touch up on the five laws, the five things that will remove anything off your credit report. The uh, Fair Debt Collections Practice Act is number one, Fair Credit Reporting Act is number two, tr um, uh, Fair and Accurate Transaction Act is number three, Fair Debt Collections, uh, Fair Credit Billing Act is number four, TILA, Truth and Lending Act is number five, and the bonus one is RESPA, um, which is uh, associated with TILA because it has to do with real estate and stuff like that. So I'm going to um, illustrate and actually just flat out show you how we find those violations on you know a few different credit reports and then how we dispute those items using those five laws and then I will show you the the before and afters of uh, when I used that for some clients that I worked on so it's just going to paint a clear transparent picture for you so you know what's up anyway um, if you haven't already like share subscribe hit the notification bell shoot us a comment no trolling none of that stuff I will remove your comment or report it whatever necessary um, or go to the website. We'd love to help you out. Take it easy.